you're looking at this map and thinking to yourself, it's got to be photoshopped. Well, I'm here to tell you that not only is it real, but you're about to find out exactly how you can travel to this part of the map that the game won't even let you see at this day mark in the game. I'm Gregos Gamers, and in this video, the mission is to get deep to this island where rumors tell his wife Sarah is holed up. Now, the bike I've got is the one that Manny slapped together at Copeland's camp, because I got to this point playing an extreme playthrough with no upgrades whatsoever. So, no nitrous to jump over cliffs, our gas tank is piss poor so we'll need plenty of fuel along the way, and it's got that crappy engine that can barely outrun freakers. Keeping the sightseeing to a minimum, let's just see how fast we can get Deke the answers he's looking for, so let's get at it. We've got Boozer comfy in the infirmary and Iron Mike hasn't killed Deke. With the fog of war in play, we have to find our target, our location, it's going to be roughly past that little covered bridge there and just close enough to Ripper territory because we'll be stopped at that point because of natural and the artificial barriers that the Rippers have set up. Because I'm not doing any ambush camps, we're going to have to live with the fog of war and just use our bike riding skills to clear it as we ride along. Okay. So here we're at the end of the road for now because we've got the rocks, we've got this valley, we've got the fortification set up by the rippers stopping us, but we can tell there is an actual world on the other side. So it's not just some barrier that we can't see beyond because we've got the trees and we've got the pyre burning in the background. Okay. Now we can't get through it this way. And not knowing what we're going to find on the other side, if there are any resources, we're going to use that can of gas to fill up. And thanks to an exploit by PS5 Secrets, those rocks are going to be the gateway to the Iron Butte region. Now, if you've got a bike with nitrous, you can probably just boost your way up those rocks. But the trick will be there's a ledge immediately at the top of it that you also have to get through. So we're just going to use the sheer power of Deke's mighty legs to try and get up this rock. Now, I'm using acceleration on the bike. You don't need to do that. And I've tried this several times, obviously failed. But once I figured it out and just realized Deke has the most powerful legs in the universe because he can literally just walk up the rock face with his bike and make it to the top. Look at that. Now we're going to get to the other side and I suck at bike riding so I fall. Naturally. That's just what happens. So that was step one to get to this part. And step two will be to get to that other little cliff hang. That deep is again, we're going to line him up and use the sheer force of his leg power to go up and over. And my God, he's got to be taking those vitamins from those plants that he collects and just be doing something with them because he just really walked up the side of a cliff. There's the Lost Lake region. We're leaving that behind. We're going to be looking for his wife, Sarah, at Wizard Island while we traverse the unknown region of Iron Butte.
to hell. Uh, that's worth checking out. Alrighty, there we go. So, the map exists. It's populated. There are rippers trying to kill us, or anybody, but us in particular. And there's fuel. So, wow. Okay, that's great. That should make getting to Wizard Island a little easier now. We got to be able to fill up. And we're just going to take care of a little business while we're here. I know I said no sightseeing, whatever, and I left that rider along the road to his fate with the sniper. So, poor bastard, and I hope he survives. But we'll take care of these. Yeah, you should probably stop screaming because you're just bringing more down on you, pal. So, there we go. All right. Wow, that blood traveled far. Okay, <laughs> back to uh, the seriousness of the situation. And our second exploit, again brought to you by PS5 Secrets, which is a little outcropping right nestled amongst these trees. I'm just going to get myself lined up here, make a save point. And we're just going to take a quick review of where we've been. Legs of Steel, good old Deke, gets us up the rock face. And we drive on through. And once we encounter the Rippers, then I knew, okay, yeah, everything's pretty much populated. We probably won't have, we obviously won't have missions here. But we made it to the Redwood RV camp. And now we're going up the rocks. I know a lot of people want to take these things head on, but I just find it more precise being able to back up. And for some reason, his legs of steel work better going back than going forward. So go figure that one. And as you're seeing right now, there's that little gap in the rocks that take us to the other side of the map. We're obviously running an optimized route. I've done this a few times, and you're looking at the final best result. I try to avoid the trees where possible because, for some reason, the handling of the way I deal with the bike lets me run into trees. So I take the route that will avoid most of them. And also to avoid the seams in the world. And we're going to come up on that seam in the world very shortly, but there's our mountain range that separates north from south. So we'll just take a nice little ride down here, and if you can see, this bank of snow is your path to oblivion, let's say. So if you were to ride over that, you'll just fall through the world. If I get enough comments asking for it, I'll drop a video showing all the times I visited the underworld. We're traveling up the mountain to take... I'm just taking the world view right now, just showing you there it is. There is Wizard Island, and we've got Diamond Lake to the right there. And now, again, I've already taken the optimized road, which will be around into that little valley on straight ahead now. So, and you'll see in a moment... Oblivion is not too far off, so that's why we're hugging the side of the cliff, because right there is our snowpack. And you can see, just briefly, take a little bit more of a right hand tack and you're falling off the world. So that was the break point between north and south. Now it's all smooth sailing from here. Iron Butte showed us that resources and enemies still exist, and animals, as you saw when I first entered Iron Butte, almost got attacked by a pack of wolves. So everything except the missions themselves exist. The lighting, everything, the rocks. Now we're still at the edge point. 
because we're not technically supposed to be here. So if I were to drive off this section, it would be a pretty big fall. I know, I've done it. And Deke doesn't survive in my condition because I have him at the most basic health level. So he does not survive falls from a thousand feet. But we can get a lot closer. You know, as I mentioned, I don't have nitrous. So it might be faster having gone through the gap in the mountains to be able to jump off a cliff and then land with nitrous but with the bike and the condition that it's in and and the level of health that Deke has because I haven't been injecting him with anything pretty much this is the safer option for this playthrough for me I mean for those that have their bike optimized and capable and Deke's been juiced up to the max so he can survive thousand foot drops That'll probably get you into the play area a lot faster. And there you go. There was that invisible ledge separating where you're not supposed to be from where you are. From where you can play. So here we go. Let's check our fuel. Yep, we're more than halfway down. And we still got a little ways to go to get to Wizard Island. So this cabin, perfect opportunity to get some more ammo, actually. Because you can see that on the table. I'm just checking my inventory. Yeah. There we go. We're maxed out. And there's the gas can. So, fuel. Just going to toss that over, fuel up, and get our asses over to Wizard Island lickety split. Not taking any time to visit Diamond Lake. I want to make a beeline. And the sun's already starting to set, from what I can tell. Starting to get a little dark. So, we'll see if we can make it to Wizard Island before sunset. And believe me, with the engine that this bike has, that'll be a challenge. <laughs> Good. Not that I expect to do much fighting, because I intend to ride a lot, but seeing how the saplings are right in the vicinity, I thought I'd just stop off and grab those. Now let's just craft some bolts. I won't be using them. Pretty pretty much won't be stopping. But there is a melee weapon very close by and a small abandoned, well abandoned, destroyed little campers area right here on the cliff edge. It's the most powerful one in the game. And it's just sitting right there out in the open. Considering that those folks had that weapon, I don't even know how they died. Like, it just doesn't make sense. But, you know, where this location is, is also the feeding ground of the Mount Bailey Horde. And we're in no shape to take them on, so we're just going to let them be. Because we've still got Wizard Island to visit pronto. But like I said, the sun's setting. How you doing, Diamond Lake? Good to know you. We're off. Now again, my target is a little road, dirt road, up just over there to the left. You can barely see it from here, but that's going to be our route to be able to get to Wizard Island. So, I'm just bolting across. Man, this bike really sucks on speed, but I haven't upgraded it. That's the whole point of the challenge. And I'm not interested in gauging any freakers if I can avoid it, because I just don't have a lot of ammo, and out here in the open, there isn't a lot of ammo to be found, so... Shadows are getting long, but I think we're gonna make it. Yep. Just in the nick of time. Okay. There we go. Wizard Island. I can see ya. 
Now let's see if we can find Sarah. We know that the world is slightly populated because we've run into freakers, we've run into animals, we've run into rippers. But now it's time to see if we can run into any major characters. Have they spawned in? But the world is built. The island exists. And we're making it just as the sun's setting. Now you can see on the right there, I've got zero trust and zero money. So, not going to be able to buy anything, not even fuel. But that's not why we're here. Now, first place we're going to look, her laboratory. He's going to be a little impatient on this. Jeez, take, take it easy. <laughs> okay. She ain't here. We know she's got a cabin. We're going to check that out next. I really wanted to bust in her cabin, but I didn't look at the stamina meter, so just runs out just before we get to the door. So, casually opening it, but nope, no Sarah here either. Oh boy, only two places left to check. That's inside the cave, where the colonel put her after a few missions. But since we're way early, I don't think he's put her in that part of the cave yet. Yeah, no, it's no no fancy lights. She's not here. One last place to check is down in the middle of the whole shebang. Nope. She's not here either. Well, let's go see if the Colonel's around. Everybody else seems to exist. Let's see if the Colonel exists. Maybe he knows where she's at. So far, quite disappointing. Everything's all fleshed out though. So, crossing the mountains, you get everything. You get access to everything. Everything's already built, just waiting for the story to eventually drag you over here. Oh, well, look at that. Yeah, no job available. You don't even know who the hell I am right now. Not talkative either, so that's it. Not going to get anything out of him. If I were Deke right now, I'd just be hanging my head, wondering if she's really dead. Move it. Not bad, though. We managed to get here in the same day. Started off in the morning over in Lost Lake, crossed over with Deke's. Iron Legs over to Iron Butte, and then all the way here to Wizard Island. Now, he might be sullen at not finding Sarah right now, 
but he's going to be up a creek if we don't get him back to Lost Lake to continue the story. So please, smash that subscribe button as it helps me a lot, and click on that video to see how we can get Deke back to Lost Lake. See you over there.